even if I'm not real, this moment is right here, right now. This moment is real. I mean, what's more real than a person trying to help someone they love? Hello, and uh, congratulations, Timmy. My name is Keith Sente, and I will be doing the critique today. I am honored to do this, coming from a uh, traditional background myself. It's uh, always wonderful to see when, when uh, people put up these 2D animated pieces for me to uh, enjoy. So I've been an animator professionally now for over a couple decades. Uh, I started out at Disney Feature Animation, working on films like Pocahontas and Tarzan, Mulan, Hunchback, and uh, then eventually into DreamWorks. And um, I got the opportunity when I was at Sony Pictures to start working on visual effects animation. And um, after working on all traditional animation, all, all uh, CG animation, and now visual effects. Um, it's great to, to have such a, uh, a varied experience in my career. Uh, currently I'm working at Industrial Light and Magic. We've been um, just finishing up on The Mandalorian, so um, it's been a thrill. And um, I've also been an animation mentor, mentor uh, for, actually I don't even know how many years now, 15 or more? Um, almost since the beginning. So let's take a look at your work here and uh, even if I'm not real, real this, this moment, moment is right here, right, right now. now. This, this moment is, is real. I mean, what's more, more real than a person, person trying to help someone they love? So many wonderful things about this. Um, I did track some some ideas here so that we could go over a couple things. Things that I really loved, um, you maintain the volume of this character moving, especially the body, very well um, with your drawing, in the the arms, the shoulders, and the body when it's when it's moving throughout the whole piece. When it's moving throughout the whole piece here, um, you did a really really great job with that. Another thing that I really liked was how you handled the um, the eyes and the lids especially you know this, well obviously with this character that is the ghost type character here on the left the way that you wrapped the eyes or eyelids around the eyes is top notch having the lid tuck and come around that um, the sphere of the eye, the way you did this uh, in here, is terrific. It really shows a, your knowledge of shape and volume. Um, so great job. And as someone else pointed out, it's, it is wonderful to see how you handled this character with no pupils and you directed the eyes. And I see how you did that is by shifting where the upper part of the eyelid is to drive where the cornea would be. Now it's over here, the highest point of the of the pupil, or where the pupil would be actually. The highest point of the lid now is where this um, where we would see the cornea or the, the bulge of the of the cornea. So um, really well done throughout so we can kind of track where his eyes are looking. Here you can see the top of the eye bulge is here. So his pupil is probably out here somewhere. So terrific on that. Um, also the eyebrows, the way that, that you've shaped them and, and handled what they're doing as well. Um, one of the things that, uh, one of the other things that I really enjoyed was this, this off-screen shrug that happens through here. We don't even see his hand, but you've indicated what's happening. Maybe you did draw it off screen. Um, but we definitely feel it as an audience. I think that's terrific. So if we just watch this little part here where he does this shrug, right here, that, and through this whole area, I can I guess picture him doing, you know, sort of this, this kind of a movement. 
Uh, one thing I would like to go over though is your lip sync. Um, I think that it might be worth it to take another pass at some of these shapes and the timing and, and where they sit. Um, when it plays, you know, when it plays together all, all together, it's it works, but it could definitely be crisper. So let's just go through some of these shapes here. Let's turn the sound back on. When he's when he's saying his first bit of dialogue here. Even if I'm not real, this moment. So you're hitting the vowels pretty good, but a lot of the consonants aren't hitting where they should be. So let's just zoom in a little bit here. So he says, even, he's still on the open mouth shape. This is the I and if. So his mouth should be open, whereas you have, have it kind of already in the F shape. A lot of these things are going to be um, because of, I can't draw you know, all the drawings on here, but I did as many as I could to kind of help you determine like offsetting things. Some of it's just kind of offsetting in, in a, a bit of a whole section. Oh, his tongue up on this, even, this is the N and here, let me just do this. And that's the even, so his tongue should be even, eh. this is the F. So this is the I and if, and right now you you have the mouth closed in that shape, so this would be the E. Eh. No, this is the F shape. And then he's taking his, he's going right into the next word here. Even if, ah, uh, ah, uh, let's start going into the, the ah uh, for I'm, I'm. And here you're in the full ah. Uh. So basically you're coming out of this F shape. Pardon my crap drawing here for the F. Um, you have much better F shape than I do here, but just put that one on there. Ah. Uh. Then it's oops. this would be your M shape slightly closed into the M and again wider mouth here he's saying not this would be another N shape, by the way. So you want the tongue to come up or not. Even if I'm not real, okay. And then in this section, um, this kind of comes in. I wanted you to, de to delay this. You're they're going to the this shape. Have it come a couple frames later. The and then this again really crummy drawings, but hopefully they'll, they'll make sense when I roll through this. So this would be the I and this. Here's your TH. And then this will start to open up into the I. This is another I. A horrible mouth shape. I. Now you're going into the S here. So your S right now, this should be an S shape. You're hitting it with an M. Again, you can hear this. Now you're hitting the M right here. So your M is. You have an open mouth shape here. Now you're coming into the O. 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 You have a closed mouth again here. Into this. Sorry, I should. These drawings. I, oops. Should try and make them a little bit better for you here, but. And then this one is basically in between between this and this. Let's 
through there. And now you'll see that when it plays, even if I'm not real, this moment is. It, it happens. Uh, um, it happens to be a bit crisper on the consonant shapes. Like I said, you're hitting a lot of the main vowels where they should, so it reads like it's supposed to. Now I know all about like when we were doing traditional animation, um, and you might know this as well. I'm assuming you've heard this before, but um, and I always remembered it like that light travels faster than sound. So we would animate on the you know where the sound was and then slip the animation to happen so that the mouth shapes happen a couple frames earlier. And that might have been where you're coming from with this, but some of them are pretty far off right now. And maybe you just slipped them a bit too far. This moment, this, 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 it's just a little too far off of where we hear the sound. Um, the mouth shapes themselves are great, by the way. This moment is. And then, oh, this. I wanted you to milk the. This, you know, he says that. He says, this moment is. That is. So I put here lengthen is 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 you kind of have the, the teeth already close together through all of this. You click them together here at 82. I would keep them really kind of milk that is closing that up a lot slower. Right here, right now. Um. Right. Going through, well, let's just finish up with lip sync here. I didn't have too much more. It was mostly this first third that was kind of a bit off. We was talking a little bit faster. Um, this, I put a green check mark because the, the way the mouth spins around here, you have it going in a circle, is fantastic. Definitely the right thing to do. So if you watch like just the corner of the mouth here, the way it comes around in an arc, that's perfect. So, great stuff. Great, great, great stuff there. This You might notice that I put in some cheek marks here. Now, you might have not had time to go through and, and finesse this yet with that, but I'm saying going forward with this, I would take the time to, like you have for this like closed mouth shape, just knock out the cheeks just a little bit. Puff them out. Not puff them, but squash them out so that your extensions on all your all shapes you get you, they already work with this I think this looks this looks great the way this is stretched right um, but if you're gonna go come up into an M shape then you wanna just give your give them a little bit of a, a cheek bulge there the other thing I'd like to see you've kind of place and trace the nose a lot. I would like to see the nose I'd like to see the nose uh, animated a little bit more too. Just to come up like for this M shape just to squash up a bit too. So if you're if you're down like like this with this long stretched face. So we get more animation out of the out of the face itself. This might be a bit too much, but and this also doesn't fit with what his eyes are doing here. I think for the most part, it looks like your your eyes were the were the main focus of 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 the piece and what you really concentrated on. But just so you can see, you know how, and also if you could take the time, you know the ear would come up a bit too. Not as much as I drew it there, but just to give you an idea. But anyways, so there's certain areas, all of these, whenever you're hitting those opens and closes, I would definitely like to see a little bit of movement affecting the nose and the cheeks. Any of these M's, definitely, I would just, just a slight tweak to the cheek. So then you have some some um, squash and stretch and difference in the the way that it's moving this was a big one here when you have this ooh shape 
you definitely want to pop that cheek out a little bit give us that and then the nose up just a little bit just to accentuate that pose right um Maybe more real, 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 real. all right so the other thing uh i was looking at that i think would be good would be when he this arm comes down to i was trying to figure out where he was placing where he was placing this arm this one um on the other character there and you kind of just it's kind of a cheat kind of goes behind the other guy's arm here where is it he kind of just it just disappears back behind his arm and not a big huge deal in the grand scheme of things but always looking for these kind of details you know imagine this up on a big in a big theater screen or something and you know that's going to be like right in front of somebody's face you can, you want to make sure that polishes off but i just thought it would make more sense to have this hand instead reach down and kind of put his arm on the other guy's arm maybe it's off screen or whatever but rather than reaching behind just kind of modify this so that it you know so it's kind of more well, let's see down here it's just a very small slight change doesn't really affect much of what you've already got going it might even make this part where he has to swing his arm around to get it to go around his shoulder the other guy's shoulders there a little right easier on you this small this so it just be a matter of just pulling it from there um i you know it's really interesting that you did such a good job on this guy here that we don't really it does, it's not really bothersome that this other the guy that you didn't really animate him very much. I mean, he's got the eye blink in there, which is a nice fleshy blink, by the way. Love to see that. But I thought you could use another another eye blink like that, if nothing else, another eye blink. Even if I'm not real, this moment is. This moment is. Like when he throws this look. Your guy here, the ghost, is saying this moment is. You could do a small blink here, after he finishes that line. Right here, right now. And then, of course, you know, getting into more acting with it. If you ever wanted to, you know, just do a little eye, little eye adjustments here and there, on him. Um, super job, man! Look at the anatomy you put in here—the little sternocleal mastoid and the. You get the uh, clavicle bone parts there. It's just it's just all around a great piece, great staging, all of it. Um, congratulations, this was well earned, and I hope those things help you. Um, way to represent the 2D community, man.